We see in the previous episode that in the face of unimaginable danger, Gu Wan's love for Du He transcends fear itself. He charges into a raging inferno, driven by the desire to protect her. Inside, their bond becomes a flickering flame, burning against the darkness. As Gu Wan's strength wanes, his touch on Du He ignites a hidden power, a testament to their shared sacrifice. They emerge from the flames, forever changed by the fire that tested their love and forged their destiny. And the tattoo, did you catch? It's fiery migration? Du He took it underwater, then poof. It's back on Gu Wan amidst the flames. This has to be some powerful metaphor, right? Let's reflect on the moment when the tattoo was actually transferred to Du He. Gu Wan was attempting to save her life, albeit through a selfish means of leveraging her situation to make a deal. In contrast, when the tattoo returned to him, he selflessly sought to save her life by sacrificing himself. Even Du He, who had been primarily concerned about her own safety during their time at the sea, was now willing to die for him, mirroring Gu Wan's commitment. Perhaps it was the starkly different circumstances that ended up working a kind of magic. This may also be tied to Gu Wan's past as a human, a facet we will explore in the upcoming episodes. In the upcoming episode, Du He and Gu Wan celebrate the restoration of Gu Wan's tattoo with a cake, recognizing that his powers no longer flicker and he no longer needs to recharge. However, Gu Wan humorously insists that he still needs to charge up, leading to a playful and enjoyable night in bed together. During the night, Gu Wan dreams of a woman named Walsam, and despite regaining his powers, he continues to dream about his human experiences. This prompts him to seek answers from God, who suggests that he may harbor a desire to remain human. Meanwhile, do he and Gu Wan uncover that information about their stay in Siokcho has been leaked, raising suspicions among those privy to the details. Concurrently, Suck Mind devises a plan upon learning about Du He and Gu Wan's survival, and Seo Kun aligns himself with Suk Min's motives upon realizing that Du He cannot be separated from Ju Wan.